a situation. I don't. I'll make it this simple. Like, um, there's a thing called looking down, and everybody does it. No one says it on record. And um, upon looking down and paying attention to uh, Jermaine's music and uh, overall uh, upcoming legacy, uh, he was tied to me. Now, if you look down any further, you'll see how many people are on my side, but like really big heavyweights. So these heavyweights were looking down. They like they are down. So they started looking at dudes' music. And they was like, "Uh, you need to listen to this." And um, I I I listened to it, and I was like, "Oh crap!" Like a lot of a lot of things were surfacing. It was like, "How is this stuff surfacing?" So ultimately, like a lot of it, it's it's a very supernatural situation. And I mean, think I were in 2012, not like 98, but like it's, it's a very supernatural. Um, a boy who cried wolf situation. So um, once his boss and I had a, um, a a supernatural conversation about it, I was like, I'll I'll put it on my tab kit. However you want it, foot it, cap it, like I put it on me. Pause. And he did. And. Uh, when I went to Ohio, like a lot of things started unrolling and stuff. And once again, it's on a supernatural level. Like this is. What does that mean in non-supernatural I, terms? Um, in non-supernatural terms, some deep shit. Between so, you and Cole. No, like or? amongst people who, like, if you like, just looking at your rings, you're prepared to talk about this. But my credibility, like, it's basically me versus Viacom in this kind of conversation. So I'm going to throw Sega in this. Like, as real as Sega, as real as Sonic, as real as Silver, as real as Jay Dilla is as real as don't say a man gave birth to you. And he said it on record, and the record has since been removed from the Internet. So at the end of the day, like, you asked me about Simone. Like, Simone is a supernatural occurrence for me. So like, and because the relationship is as deep as it is, like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna jeopardize her because like I have my own phobia of cameras, like superstitions and stuff. But like basically, on a very deep level, he said some things that resonated with heavy hitters. Like re- like that's real. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we both looked at it, and I, I hate to say it, but like you call it looking left, looking right, doom, doomsday, like, however you want to say it. Like, I'm not trying to say him be Nostradamus, but, like, some things are more real than you want to give it credit for. And he played a, a role in that, and he wanted attention. So because I thought I had to embrace him from a um, paternal standpoint, um, once I found out it wasn't true, I went off. So, mind you, like, I got, I have people who are, like, Spending a lot, a, a lot, a lot, a lot of money on the situation, and they're like, "Okay, like I don't, like they 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 don't want to talk about it. I'm the only one who has to talk about it. So like basically like as real as Sonic is to me. Like could you imagine Sonic having a kid and what that would do to the overall equilibrium of the universe? On top of the fact Sonic is an alien, and if like an alien gives birth like what it could do like it was the craziest thing in the world and it gets into like very deep things like mtv is a part of like uh egyptian encryptions like you know what i'm saying like and and if you read the book um the da vinci stain it's there so like as real as mtv is something of a supernatural entity like chill mtv sega like you know what i'm saying i would never think of us as a supernatural entity that's pretty crazy I mean, it's just what it is. Like, 1981, everybody was down. One. This is the biggest one in the galaxy. One. Like, 